How's it going? David here at Backroads Outdoors and uh, today we're going to do a boot review of some crispy boots. We've got five different pairs here and uh, I'll do my best to uh, explain to you guys what I like, what I don't like, how they've uh, treated me. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Crispy in any way. Uh, we'll dive right into them. Okay, so we've got five pairs here. Uh, we've got the Crossover Light GTX, we've got the Summit GTX, the Thor GTX, the Idaho GTX, and the Laponia GTX. Uh, these are the older Laponias, these are the older Idahos, uh, I believe these are the newer Thors, uh, I think the Summits are the, are the same, um, and I believe the Crossover is the same too, uh, as the current model. So let's get started with the, uh, we'll start with the uh, Crispy uh, Crossover. GTX and this is more of like a I don't know I guess you would say kind of a glorified hiking boot uh, really really low top uh, it's got a couple of different features that I'm not so sure that I like on it uh, it's got a, a very different tongue here this tongue is attached on this side um, kind, kind of strange it doesn't it has a little different fit on your ankle <clears throat> I don't know if I, if I necessarily <clears throat> like it to be honest um, <clears throat> Also seems like the toe box is very long. Uh, my my toes fit weird into this boot, and the boot really really curves a lot in the toe box. Um, <clears throat> so very comfortable boot. Uh, I actually wear it a lot for work. Um, super lightweight, and it seems to be holding up really good. It's definitely it's got a rand around it here, so it's a uh, it's definitely a sturdy boot, and it's going to wear very well. Um, I wouldn't say this is probably what you want to take, you know, up into the mountains doing steep stuff for a lot when you need a lot of ankle support. This is definitely not going to be that boot. Uh, but it's a good boot. Uh, it's one of their uh, cheaper boots. Um, probably not a full-fledged hunting boot. Like I said, more of kind of like a glorified hiker. <clears throat> okay, next let's go with the uh, Crispy Summit GTX here. Um, I have put a lot of miles on this boot, and uh, it's definitely starting to show it. I've had this boot for many, many years, and it's been a very good boot. Um, I would say that uh, this is definitely a step up from the crossovers. Uh, it's definitely a lightweight boot still. It's got some th synthetic materials, so not full leather. Um, super lightweight boot, super comfortable right out of the out of the box, like pretty much every pair of Crispies is. Um, I put a lot of miles on these, packed a lot of animals out. They did a good job. Uh, one thing I, I I seem to think that. <clears throat> towards the end there that I was wearing these for hunting it seemed like they were starting to wear out a little bit in the sole I feel like they were not as comfortable as they were when they were a brand new boot so be that as it may I wear them for work now uh, still got a lot of tread on them they got a lot of miles on them but the tread's still good uh, they are starting to separate the rand around here uh, starting to separate in places kind of the threads coming off so <clears throat> definitely a good boot um, I would highly recommend this boot for sure. Okay, next let's go with the uh, we'll go with the Thor GTX. This is the Thor 2 GTX. Uh, really, really like this boot. Uh, very, very comfortable boot, but it's definitely a stiff boot. Much, much stiffer than I think any of these boots. Uh, this thing is 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 a lot stiffer now. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I kind of like the boots that are less stiff, but this boot is, is super comfortable to me still. Um, right out of the bat, it was it was very comfortable. Has a good good sole on it. Uh, yeah, it's a really good boot. I like the mixture of of leather and synthetics synthetics on this one. A um, little bit of wear on some of the threading around around the, on the rand here, but a uh, super good boot. And uh, for the price, I think it's kind of hard to beat. I really good boot. I like this a lot. Definitely somewhere, you know, in between the Summit and probably like the Idaho. Uh, one other thing to mention with this uh, Thor is it does not have a Vibram sole. Uh, the Summits have a Vibram sole. The Idaho have, have a Vibram sole. Uh, this does not have a Vibram sole. The Laponias do not have a Vibram sole as well. And the crossovers do. So if you're wanting a Vibram sole, and that's a deal breaker for you then this isn't going to be the boot for you definitely a good boot check them out for the price I think it's kind of hard to beat to be honest uh, next we'll go to the, uh, the Idaho GTX this boot has been a really good boot to me uh, pretty much bulletproof 
very very good boot definitely got a higher top on it so you're gonna get some more ankle support so this is gonna be more of a probably uh, something for higher up in the mountains the steep country stuff like that a little bit heavier boot uh, definitely uh, this has been a super super comfortable boot uh, and it has wore very very well uh, I've put a lot of miles on this boot and the tread is literally about gone so um, I would highly recommend this I believe there's a newer model I think it's the I want to say the Idaho GTX 2 this is the original one uh, so good boot uh, got a mix of leathers and synthetics here um, <clears throat> I got yeah, a nice big rubber rand around it here so definitely definitely gonna withstand some torture on rocks or whatever you're gonna throw at it so I think I saved the best for last uh, this is the crispy Laponia and this is probably my favorite boot out of all of these um, super super lightweight boot super flexible full leather boot down here and I just absolutely love this boot it is probably as soon as I put my foot into this boot it just felt like a glove I don't think I've ever had a pair of boots that my foot just slipped into and was just 100% comfortable uh, so like I said super lightweight uh, super flexible it's pretty much like a tennis shoe um, definitely it, it's it's full leather but it's not a super hot boot I feel like it breathes pretty well for, for, for being leather um, like I said I absolutely love this boot this is my favorite out of all of these um, this is my my newest crispy boot. I just got this. Uh, I want to. I think it was this spring. I got this. Put a lot of miles on it already. Shed hunting, scouting, uh, doing stuff like that. Getting ready to go into archery season here, and I can't wait to have these on the mountain. So I would definitely recommend these. There is a newer model now. I believe they've uh, continued the laces farther down here. Um, it's gray now. A couple differences, but I think it's pretty much the same boot. But uh, yeah, I can't say enough about this I absolutely love this boot overall uh, I would say you pretty much can't go wrong with any crispy boot uh, for their price point I think they're probably one of the best out there I've had awesome luck with them I haven't had any catastrophic failures at all with any of these boots and I'm rough on them I'm a bigger guy uh, so I'm putting a lot of use on them you know I, I don't weigh 150 pounds like some guys and so I'm a lot harder on these and they've all done really good for me uh, I can't say enough about them. If you're looking for a good boot, check out Crispy, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thanks for watching.